What is good Foundation Nation? Welcome to yet another Foundation Nation video. Today, we're doing a $15 three material airplane building challenge. We're joined by Big Sci Guy. Hello. Connor Guy. and myself. And Little Sci Guy. Big Sci Guy, Little Sci Guy, <laughs> Hunter. All right, the premise is simple. We have an hour to build an airplane. Whoever's airplane flies the aircraft. farthest. Aircraft. Aircraft. Yeah, aircraft. Aircraft. Connor apparently has some type of idea that that's important. Uh, we have an hour to build an aircraft. Whoever's aircraft flies the farthest in this field out here wins $15. You must use a minimum of three materials so that you can't just do something boring. Minimum. Um, and the, the clock starts now. All right, here we go. We got the classic Connor can here from under my steering wheel. Um, I am headed to Dollar Tree to get my uh, get my materials. I do have an idea for what I'm gonna do. I think I'm just going simple. Um, if you remember those foam little airplane things you got as like a kid in like prize boxes, I think I'm going that uh, route. And uh, yeah, I'm thinking we go to Lowe's and we get one of those corrugated plastic like signs. And um, yeah, we see, we'll see what we can do with that, so. All right, as much as I want to go, you know, pillage a store, find some materials, all of that stuff, it occurred to me that from the last to our boat building challenge, I still have electrical tape, which I'm gonna use to hold my aircraft together. Um, then over here, I have a bunch of cardboard, right? So cardboard, electrical tape, already off to a good start. And then final object is I have a coin bank over here. Basically my idea is I'm gonna make a thin airplane. I'm gonna weigh down the front so that it has a little weight to it so that I can throw it and it gets some distance. Um, and then the front is gonna be pulled down by the quarters, right? So I'll throw, it'll immediately kind of go nose down. So then I'm gonna angle the wings up a little bit. So as it's getting pulled down, the wings are angled up so that it's like, the downward pull creates momentum to pull it forward and it flies like this. Will it work? Probably not. Um, but I heard Connor say something about trying to get helium balloons. I'm assuming he's making like some type of blimp or something. Silas has no idea what he's making. So I feel like if, if I can get one to go like 20 feet, I'm also gonna be able to test this thing pretty easily. Um, I got a whole bunch of cardboard. I think the first step here is I'm just gonna make a basic, make a basic one, um, no weight, no anything, and uh, see how far it flies in here. Just kind of give it a quick toss, and then go from there. I specifically specified, specifically specified aircraft, not airplane, because I'm gonna make a blimp. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna go buy some balloons, I've never bought balloons before, actually, now that I think about it. So I don't know how expensive they are, but hopefully I can find a helium balloon in here that uh, is cheap enough to where I can buy a couple and I can make a blimp. And I'll, but you have to be able to throw it and it go the furthest. You can't really throw a blimp. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna see if they have any of those little electric fans that you like cool yourself off with at like a soccer game. And uh, I'm gonna see if I can glue those to the um, the blimp, that way it can propel itself. Hopefully, I'm, I'm sure I'll be able to find some kind of electric fan there. I hope, I hope. Uh, so we'll we'll see. My fingers are crossed. All right, so I'm here at Home Depot, and I think this arrow thing, this is like corrugated plastic. I think it'll fly really well, and it's only. $6.35, so we're getting a few of these. So I just basically just built just a triangle. I made the triangle as even as I could. I feel like I did a pretty good job. And then I just taped another piece of cardboard to the bottom to be able to throw, and we're gonna see what it does. Well, that sucks. <laughs> I don't know why. I just am scared that balloons are super expensive. Now I am looking at electronics to try to find the fan that I'm looking for. And I'm feeling pretty hopeful right now. I have to figure out how I'm gonna attach the bottom part to the balloons, but we'll figure that out. If any, if all it fails, we'll just use some duct tape. Okay, prototype number two <laughs> is done. Uh, essentially, I just cut the cardboard um, and scored it to make the wings be even, and then taped this together 
I mean, it's basically a paper airplane. Okay, what I'm learning here is there's a reason, there's a reason that humans as a civilization traveled by boat for so much longer than we've traveled by plane. Flight is hard. Okay, I just learned some very important information. I asked if they had any of those fans that you would blow your face off with. And she said that somebody came in yesterday and bought two cases of them and bought all that they had left. And so they don't have any right now, which is a huge bummer. But I did learn all the balloons are $1.25, which I realized was a stupid question to ask because I asked her how much it was and I'm at the dollar store where everything's $1.25, so that was pretty stupid. But um, I kind of had the idea of maybe using like compressed air and just like cutting the compressed air lid right before, or you know, like hitting the nozzle off right before it starts and just letting it like just be a rocket. So here's the thing. I got very lucky. I told you guys about how they were completely out of stock of those fans. I found little bubble machines that I'll show you whenever I get back to build. Little bubble machines that had the fans on them. So, I might be in luck there. I am nervous because I got 10 balloons. And 10 balloons does not carry nearly as much weight as you would expect because I held those balloons in my hand and I mean, there is enough. I mean, I'm not even sure if they're lifting a piece of paper. Okay, I just watched a YouTube video called How to Make a Cardboard Airplane That Flies. And in his demonstration of it flying, it went about as far as what I just did. Which tells me two things. One, cardboard doesn't want to fly. Two, that was a pretty successful attempt. I mean, that guy made a whole YouTube video on it and did what I did. Uh-huh, that's something, right? We're starting to look like a plane here. And it does nothing. Well, I guess you could say that went according to plan. I don't, my car is completely full of balloons. I can't see, I, this is so dangerous. I mean, I can't see anything. That car almost ran into them. I was gonna back up slowly and hope that no one's there. There's a reason they don't use cardboard on planes. We're going paper airplane with tape and a quarter. What are you, What's what are up, you? boys? Happy birthday. I've got 15 minutes and no idea what I'm doing. Here's all my balloons. They're hitting the ceiling. One started to fly out my window on the way into the parking lot and I had to catch it. I had three old ladies on my way here roll down their window next to me and say, it's gonna be a great birthday. <laughs> That's <laughs> legit. I'm being serious. So I got these batteries for the fans. Now I had to include that in the cost. Um, first of all, let's check out the, these are my little fans. I think I can make them lighter. So first of all, break off this piece. Don't need that. Yep. Um, I mean, there's a lot of weight here, but I don't want to break the whole fan. Please, no. Please. I need more balloons. No. I'm gonna cry. Time to introduce the paper cut bomber. Paper um, cut bomber. So it, it might look like a paper airplane on the outside, but I did use the three materials. I have tape on the oh, front oh. here to keep it keep it stable, keep it nimble, and add some durability. Tape mm -hmm. on the back here to keep it from falling apart. And mm. then two paper clips here for added counterweight to adjust for the weight on the front from the tip. Um, I guess I'm gonna lead this off. We're gonna throw from behind this line, and then we'll each throw round one we're going to do three rounds the farthest overall throw counts period so yeah. if i set one in round one that's just unbeatable it's unbeatable oh gotcha we'll set where it lands not where it slides to with this blue cap so wherever it lands mark will be set with the blue cap if you can throw farther is what it is that oh my that goodness that's a luck guys that's a free luck the pimp blimp here um Actually, the wind is at my back, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna waste too much time because I need it because my balance was not quite correct. I gotta put this little piece of tape on here to get the fan going. Let's get that fan going. Yeah, 
Yeah. Oh crap, give me a second, hold on. And, and, we're off. Go, go, go! You broke the That hand. was only attempt number one. That was only attempt number one. All right, Saz, what do you got here, man? What do I have? This is, what's that show? This is the yellow school bus. A magic school bus. The magic. This is the magic school bus. I got uh, vinyl here for added stability. <laughs> Painters tape, just to give it a little flair. Dude, mine's going on its own right now. And I got batteries for counterweights. Oh. Right on the bottom. Nice. Which line? This. I don't this know. One? That one. Yeah, the back one. There. All right. Mine's uh, go mine's taking off right this now. This is all just in the the strength that I throw. Yeah. And uh, so we're gonna whip it. All right. This one I'm gonna try to put a little more umph behind. You're not really supposed to have paper airplanes, but I feel like I set a pretty good precedent with that first one. So. Yep. I mean, I shouldn't have done that. Action. Oh, you, we weren't talking about the rules. We just said to we go the furthest. A, we did set a budget at fifteen dollars. I didn't and use Connor, fifteen dollars. What, what? How much? What was your? What'd you end up paying the cashier at Dollar Dollar Tree? I spent seven dollars on this, and I spent seven dollars on some personal items. On personal items. Yeah. Well, so like some more fans. And some more tape and stuff, but I didn't use them. I was told he went fifteen thirty-eight, which is thirty-eight cent over budget. So if we want to talk rules, we can talk rules. I didn't use. I only used a I'm quarter still, of it. I'm still confident right. that I'm still confident that my paper airplane is going to beat go. whatever this is. Here about. we go. The pimp limp starts. Get. And go. <laughs> I gotta get it before it goes in the road. <laughs> that was what we we'll, we give him. We'll give him twenty feet. Twenty feet. So he's I'll got another mine though. You don't want to know, Silas. All right, I was at twenty feet. You gotta beat here. Silas is just trying to beat me. He's not. He's he's taking his eyes off the prize. Well, here's the thing is. No, you got it. You got it, man. Hunter got lucky. All Get that thing up there. Get it high. That was the same same thing, but it's okay. I think you might have rang the doorbell for someone in an apartment upstairs. Goob tube. Same. All right, well. First it, one worked. That's all I needed it for. He could. Go! Oh, that big gust. No, go, go, go! That's down. <laughs> all right. All right. That's straight into your car, Silas. Yeah. Are you gonna, you're going to sue him for that? Oh, for sure. Okay. Well, okay. Well, Silas, your attempt to beat Connor, you beat 20 feet. That's the line set. Where are you going? Where are you throwing from? It's a, it's a wind. This, oh. oh. No. oh too bad. Too bad. That's too little, too late. All right, here it's, we go. It's pretty inconsistent carrier there. For all the glory. Got to get a big gust. How far do I need to be? About, if you throw it at me, you'll probably get it. <laughs> he did hit me. He did hit me. Oh. I believe, uh, you hold this, I'll walk it off. I know how many steps it was. Wait, you blocked it though. Okay. So Connor, Connor has now been defeated by a trash can and a piece of paper. Pretty tough. You guys, you guys riddle me this. Who, whose build did you enjoy watching the most? Whose? 